COOP is continuity of operations planning, and it's the process that a department or a division might go through to ensure that no matter what emergency might affect them, they would still be able to maintain their business operations and be able to respond in the event of an emergency. And so it's important, specifically with a response division or response department, to be able to continue their daily operations while also or their vital daily operations while also responding to the emergency that is occurring. Continuity of operations is important for two reasons. Number one, to continue operations in the event of a disruption, whatever that may be. And number two, to get back operational at a faster pace to mitigate and continue uh, the timetable it takes to get back functioning. Shorten that time frame uh, by having a continuity of operations plan in place. I mean, I would also say that, you know, it's important for these smaller, not necessarily the real small business, but medium to large side businesses to also have plans in place. We think it's very important to have those public-private partnerships because they can always help us. They always have something that they contribute to the county, and we can help them as well. So it's nice to have those connections in place and, and know what services we can share. The NevadaContinuity.com uh, platform allows access anywhere allows users and departments so the capability to develop their plans, meet all federal and state and local standards in uh, continuity of operation planning. The tool itself really helps from beginning to end and also for you to update your plan. Uh, the RSI tool and their staff have been extremely helpful uh, in uh, getting our plan together and uh, nearly complete now. One of the really neat things about the online tool, NevadaContinuity.com, is that when you have change in personnel, when you have changes in your programs or with attrition and with budget cuts, if programs start combining, this tool is a very easy, accessible resource and a very easy to navigate where you can go in and you can make those changes to your plan so that it continues to be a living document and doesn't just collect dust on the shelf. I think the thing that helped the most in this COOP planning process was the task force and being able to work with counties, state, federal government to network and uh, share ideas. Um, I just think that what's done in one county is probably done in a lot of other counties, so it's good to be able to share that information and see what others are doing. Throughout this process of uh, developing our plans at everybody's heads down, Risk Solutions International is here and available to assist all departments, all entities in developing and completing their plans. We have resources and capability uh, available and I recommend everyone take advantage of it so that we can assist sit one on one, do WebExes, online training or workshops on site to help you and your organization develop your continuity of operations plan as part of the Nevada statewide continuity program. If you come up with questions while you're working on the plan, it's fine to contact Ron or me at any time. We're here in Reno, we're available to meet with you, to discuss your issues, or to help you complete the website. Just know that we're all here to help you, that you don't have to stumble along not knowing what to do, but you can use us as a resource to get this done. I would strongly recommend you access nvstatecoop.org nvstatecoop.org. It's got all the information on the project, it's got the background on the project, it's got our agendas and task force members and contact information. There's some learning and, and uh, learning materials, training materials available, videos, online videos of COOP and, and COG uh, talking about the project. So again, nvstatecoop.org. Um, I just would like to thank the State of Nevada Homeland Security Commission for allowing these funds to be available to you know, Nevada counties to be able to do this process. Without those funds for a lot of smaller counties, this project would never have been able to happen. So we appreciate their support.